Hey yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Paronor and today we are here with a brand new season of Minecraft Skyblock here on power.arcanhq.net on the Genesis realm. As you guys know, this realm actually reset on Saturday and today is the day when we finally are gonna get our grind started here on the server. I have been so busy with uni and other things that now I'm finally back and I'm gonna be with a full on grind grind i'm gonna be spending so many hours on here trying to make sure that my island is gonna be the best island here on the server so this is gonna be really exciting and uh well as you guys can see we went for the default island look uh which kind of brings back the good old times when you know when you would build your little um cobblestone generator right here oh my god i just remember this so freaking well uh, but anyways, we are not going to be doing that because as you guys know, this server is a little bit more OP than that. We can do just slash kit blaze and as you guys can see, we have plenty of blocks which we can use to maybe purchase ourselves some spawners. And also, I'm going to go ahead and actually open up myself a crate key and I think it's going to give us a little bit of a head start on the server because once again, I was kind of late to the release. So uh, it's going to help me out and we can have a little bit more exciting start. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the amazing crates, which is right here. And as you guys can see, this is the September crate. But first, I'm going to make sure that my inventory is nice and empty for this. And then we're going to open it up. All right, so we got enough space in our inventory. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and let's see what we're going to get. And uh, click to spin. Oh, th dude, this is actually pretty cool. Can we spin all of these open? Because this is my very first time opening. Because last season, I didn't really open up that many crate keys. But this season, I feel like I do need to open them. And yo, can I get like so many things? Let's see. I guess we're going to get the middle thing, right? Uh, night vision, I guess? I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get. But let's just open up all of them. And we're going to see what we're going to get. But that seems like we can be getting a lot of things. And uh, I, I have no idea. I guess... I guess the middle part is the things where we're gonna get. So we got access to the night vision, parrot disguise, 6 to 17 cow spawners. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still a little bit sick. 7 to 12 chunk hoppers, sell all, parrot disguise, 1 to 3 legendary crates, more cow spawners, zombie pigment spawners, and save the Amazon tag. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Do I... I guess we have already received all of these items. Uh, but let's freaking go, boys. Uh, we got actually two parrot disguises. Definitely didn't need that. But one of them is really cool. And uh, yeah, I guess we can build ourselves like a cow grinder. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any good. So I can quickly check out the... Alright guys, I didn't realize. But it's a little bit harder for me to actually make the commentary. Like, I'm just copying like every single second. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to quickly say that these items... I'm actually going to go ahead and save them up. And I'm going to be actually going ahead and giving them away, probably. And we did also get some crate keys by ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and open up some crate keys. Hopefully we can get some goodies. As you guys can see, the spawn is looking much more beautiful than the previous spawn. Previous spawn was really tiny, but this one is actually a little bit more spacious. Looks kind of cool. Has a little bit more character to it. But anyways, we also have a spawner crate key. So let's open this up and let's see what spawner we're going to get from here. Hopefully it's not going to be another cow spawner because then... Well, that's going to be a rip. Like... IG or which would be really nice. Let's see. Nice. We got ourselves a chicken spawner. One of the best spawners, obviously, in the game here. And we also got three legendary crate keys from the September key. So let's see what keys we're going to get from here. And come on, come on, come on. Hopefully, it's something that's going to give us a good boost here on the server. Um, and two creeper spawners. All right. That's kind of decent. Oh my god. I thought we we're going to get ourselves a creeper rank, but nope. We got ourselves 192 gold blocks. Another rib. We're not doing so good with the crate keys, to be honest. Um, once again, I haven't really opened up that many crate keys, so not sure if this is any good. But anyways, yeah, we just got ourselves Ultra Sword. That's kind of nice with the looting four. Um, but all right, all right. I was hoping that we're going to get something a little bit better from here, but hmm... Well, you can definitely tell that uh, I had been gone from YouTube for two to three weeks. Well, I'm happy to be back, and I'm also happy to be making freaking fails, boys, because, uh, well, as you guys can see, we are back on our island. This is where we started our episode, and bam. Bam, bam, bam. This is what we got built for ourselves. I did quite a bit of grinding off camera. Um, first of all, we have some IGs placed down. We have more specifically, actually, placed down three IGs. 
we have a robot up here and also we have a grinder build for mob coins now we don't have a grinder for mob coins yet fully set up because we're missing the spawners but we have the whole layout built also the grinder is fully built here and i do want to actually place down other spawners in here as well i think that we will have to change the layout a little bit but anyways, uh, this is pretty much our grinder area. We have a little storage system here as well. Now we built this in the last season as well. This layout is very, very similar. And uh, I felt like this layout just works out the best. I'm not sure if I already mentioned, but unfortunately the robot doesn't work when we are actually offline. I built this whole grinder. I went offline for about two days because I was focused on uni. And then, uh, well, as you guys can see, it didn't really get as much iron. The only time when it gets us iron is when we are online. So I think that's when the robot is activated. Uh, because once we do log offline, it doesn't actually work. Which is really unfortunate because that's what I thought actually at first it does. So I think we're going to change the mode into something else. And I'm not sure what uh, mode to use. And maybe I'm using the wrong mode. Because right now I have the spawner activated mode. Uh, but maybe we should be using something else. Like the mob grinding. Um, I don't know honestly I really don't know so I'm gonna figure that out in the next episode we're gonna have uh, figured it out which robot to actually or what mode to use on the robot because I know robots are really good on the server just don't know which ro mode is the best I guess uh, but anyways yeah we do have this grinder set up we also have quite a bit of in-game money and we do have mob coins as well because as you guys know mob coin shop is a thing and I want to save up until we maybe have like 10,000 mob coins so we're gonna buy a zombie spawner and I'm not sure if we're going to have the zombie spawner in here or we're going to build it separately. We may need to do that and build it separately. Uh, so we're going to figure that out. But yeah, this is pretty much my island right now. It really sucks that I messed up with the files uh, because it was kind of an awesome episode. And uh, well, but on a good note, we saved you the trouble and uh, you guys are seeing pure progress right now. And I do want to be a little bit faster with my island. And I feel like last week when the server actually released... I wasn't able to really grind because I was so focused on uni, but now I'm mostly done with most of the things. I still have one project to go, but finally I'm able to start grinding. And I want to see you guys grinding here on the server as well. I want to see you guys get to the island sub with me. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do next is we're just going to AFK number one a lot. Uh, and we're going to be selling all the iron. We just made like about 13k from selling half a chest. And honestly, the chest is filling up fairly quickly, more faster than I expected, which is good. And another thing that I did want to actually mention is that now the spawners are working a little bit differently. So as you guys can see, we have common spawners, uncommon spawners uh, with pretty much different tiers. And the way to unlock the tiers is that you have to kill a certain amount of enderman, blazes or witch spawners to get the epic spawners. So we would need to kill 600 of them and then we would redeem the mob heads. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be going to other islands and trying to get the heads from there. Or maybe we can even buy them on the AH. I wouldn't be surprised if people sell them. Uh, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. But once again, we're going to leave that probably for the next episode. Right now, we only have the common spawners unlocked, which is unlocked for everyone. And as you guys can see, we can buy these spawners right here. And we also do have a VIP discount, which is a new thing, which is really cool. Uh, so this is one of the perks of being a donator. Now, honestly, this idea is really awesome. Uh, but I just need to find a way how to unlock them the fastest. I think just going to other islands and using their grinders for a bit is the best way to go. I think there will be some public grinders for these mobs, so hopefully we're going to find them. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'm going to let you guys know in the next episode what is the best way to approach this, because like I said, I do want to actually make my videos like somewhat helpful, not just entertaining, but also uh, for you guys to have like some tips and tricks, because I want to get to the top with all and every single one of you guys, as I mentioned earlier before. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this and I'm really looking forward to the grind. I am once again late to the release sort of uh, because like last time when it released then I was on holidays and now when it released, uh, well I was super busy with uni and uh, the release times have been like the worst for me. Uh, but hopefully it's been good for you guys and I really do hope to see you guys here on the server. Hopefully we're going to do some mad action and I think I'm going to do the next live stream kind of soon on here because usually when live streaming we're able to grind faster and you guys give me some tips as well uh, midway through. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to live stream next here on the server, maybe on Wednesday or something. We're going to figure that out. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video 
And uh, if you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like on our beautiful grinder. Now, actually, this grinder was supposed to be originally a blade grinder, hence the yellow. But I'm like, wait a minute, which is for the better one? And I want to have a kind of color scheme. Uh, white is for the IGs because it's iron, and the uh, witches are just purple because they have always been purple boys. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys do subscribe with the notifications on. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.